after high school, life moves pretty fast, and it's hard to remember just how fun high school was. This is why lots of high schools make a yearbook each year, so students can look back and remember their high school days. We got the chance to visit Sir Wilfrid Laurier to check out their yearbook making process. Let's go check it out. I'm Diego Rose, and we're here at Sir Wilfrid Laurier, and we're going to learn how to make a yearbook. Let's go check it out. This is uh, the yearbook class. In, uh, in this class, we create our, uh, our school's yearbook. So students get to learn everything from photography skills to graphic design with Photoshop and InDesign. Uh, we get to learn how to meet deadlines, we get involved in the school, we head out to all sports and clubs and events and take pictures. So I'm Sarah. I'm Rosie. I'm Sophie. I'm Ashley. I'm Sarah. And I'm a lot of photos of all the teams and clubs. Like we've done like assignments where we have to choose certain things that we're gonna do. Like I myself and I've chosen awards. So basically I just have to pick awards that different people from different grades have the chance to vote on and win. Making dividers with like all these grade 9, 10, 11, 12 photos. On Photoshop, we're like cutting strips and like putting different faces together to show like how everyone's kind of the same. Um, Photoshop, InDesign, and just the two yeah. Um It's basically for well, we made business cards off of them, and we're making two-page spreads to like learn the program. And so it's mostly for two page spreads. Now here at High School Happenings, we absolutely love hockey, our favorite team being the Senators. And the Senators actually just partnered up with the OCDSB with a program called Sens at School. It's intense are to get high school students the chance to get first-hand experience with the sports media field. Now Kat got a chance to go check it out. Here she is at the Canadian Tire Center, your home of the Ottawa Senators. Thanks Amaru, we're here at the Canadian Tire Center. Let's go see what's going on with the Sens at School program. Fair. Um, I work for the Ottawa Senators and um, I work in the group sales. I'm an account manager in group sales. Basically we wanted to find a way to bring in students um, without just ha selling a, a hard ticket, giving them some kind of experience and educational component um, to kind of give them that experience as well as the experience of going to an NHL game. So we wanted to kind of marry the two um, with a field trip concept. So this is kind of how it all spurred. My name is Davina, I'm in grade 11, and I'm in communications and technology shoes. So uh, first we drove up to the Canadian Tire Centre and got um, seated and heard some speakers um, present. And then we got a tour around the whole centre and got to see the equipment and what they film on. Before this program started, we did a lot of one-offs like this, uh, like a tour and we bring in this guest speaker for a group of 30 that was coming in. So we thought, big scale, why don't we do this? Uh, a big part of that as well was learning about the specialist high skill majors programs um, that the Ontario Ministry of Education has. So partnering with them um, to bring a, a reach head experience that you guys use for your SHISM programs as well. Um, we got to speak to and hear about um, people who work there and their day-to-day -day jobs and experiences and what it's like working my name is Terry Marcotte. I'm a sports director of CTV Ottawa. I've been working at CTV for 28 years. 
I started out at a radio TV operation in St. John, New Brunswick in 1981 and I worked uh, primarily in television after that and I like TV, I just like working with pictures and that sort of became my passion is, is telling stories with pictures. It was really interesting because we got to hear their point of view of how to build a career and what kind of experience you need in the career of being in sports media and what kind of day in the life of a sports media person is. Um, it, it, it's a tough business right now. A lot of stations are cutting back and when I started out uh, back like 35 years ago, there were lots of jobs and uh, you know, you'd start out at a small local station, work your way up and nowadays it's completely different. You know, stations are cutting back um, and it, it, it's tougher but it, it still is, um, you know, there are jobs and uh, you look at the growth of TSN and Sportsnet, that wasn't around when I was starting out. I mean, all those jobs are, are brand new. So there are jobs, you know, in the sports media and uh, in the media, and you got to be good. And, uh, but if you have passion for journalism, it is a, a wonderful career. Um, this industry is quickly um, changing with all this generation's new technology and um, social media. It, it has changed so much, and uh, and social media too. I mean, that is, and that, and that's an area um, I'm not very good at. It's social media, but but it is. It's it like any. The more you can do, the more valuable you become. And, you know, being able to shoot, uh, being able to edit, um, being able to tell a story, do radio, television, and uh, get your message out on social media. You become a brand, and the, be the more you can sell your brand, the the, the better for you. And, uh, you know, just from the young people that I've seen uh, coming through, everybody you meet along the way, it's a small industry, and everybody you meet along the way, um, you never know who you're going to be impressing. Overall, I think it was a really good experience. It was a lot of fun, and it really showed us the inside intel and in whether or not we want to do this kind of job or not. Well, that's all for this episode of High School Happenings. I'm Zach. I'm Michaela. I'm Kat. I'm Amaru, and we'll see you next time.